Hi friends, I'm Luke Flowers and today I'll be reading Unicorn Day, written by Diana Murray and illustrated by me. My friend Fanny Hartz here is going to be helping with story time. Oh, I love a good book with cupcakes in it. Delicious. All right, let's begin. Unicorn Day. Hooray, hooray, it's Unicorn Day. All unicorns this way. When unicorns come out to play, they have three rules they must obey. Rule number one, show off your horn. Be proud to be a unicorn. Rule number two, fluff up that hair. Make sure it's groomed and styled with flair. Rule number three, have fun, fun, fun. This rule's the most important one. In the woods where the tall trees sway, they sing a song of unicorn day. Sunshine and flowers, fairy wings, today's a day for joyful things. Nay, 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 dance and play. Happy, happy Unicorn Day. They kick up their hooves, they jump and cheer, and sparkly butterflies flutter near. They slide on rainbows in the air and love to braid each other's hair. Point their horns up as they fly, and cupcakes rain down from the sky. Oh. Then after they have had a bite, it's time to have... A glitter fight! Oh yes, this is my favorite! Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh, that's no unicorn. That's a horse. Turns around to leave, of course. His horn's not real, it's just pretend. But they don't want to lose a friend. They tie the horn back on his head and give the horse a hug instead. Then it's back to... Fun, fun, fun! That rule's the most important one. They march together tall and proud, and soon some more friends join the crowd. Oh, hello everyone. Clip, clip, clop, they trot along as everybody sings this song. Cupcakes and sprinkles, cherry tarts, starlight twinkles and glowing hearts, sunshine and flowers, fairy wings, today's a day for joyful things. Nay, 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 dance and play. Happy, happy Unicorn Day. Thank you for reading along. Have a magical day. Now that we've read the book, I thought it'd be fun if we did a little drawing project together. Oh, that would be glitterific! All right, grab your drawing tools. Now that you have your drawing tools, we can begin. I'm going to be kind of using a large piece of paper and a uh, magic marker. And you can just follow along with whatever you have. Big piece of paper or little, doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to kind of do a step-by-step, -step, and you're going to customize a few things as we go along, and then we'll kind of create our own little unicorn story here. All right, here we go. We're going to start with a sort of a straight line down at an angle here. Kind of like that. That's going to be the bridge of the nose for the unicorn. Then it's going to kind of, kind of round it out there a little bit. That's going to be where the nose and the mouth is. Then we're just going to kind of take it back just a little ways. And that's going to kind of go into a little bit of a chin area there. That's going to kind of finish out the, the bottom of the mouth. Then we're going to kind of do a little bit of an angle off there. And you can add an ear up here if you'd like. Little hairs. Looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of do one big sweeping body up to the neck part. Uh, so you again, if you want to do a big body, little body, funny shaped body, every unicorn has different body shapes, so it's really up to you. I'm going to start here and just kind of go down, around, and bring it back up. Now what we're going to do, you can connect some lines that are not connected there. We're going to add the eye. Uh, you could add two eyes on the side if you want, or just one. Uh, kind of looking from the side. I'm going to add one big beautiful eye right here. Okay. 
I'm going to have her kind of looking down, or him, if you've drawn a, a boy unicorn. Whatever one you'd like. You could even add eyelashes if you want. If not, you don't have to. And now we're going to add the, the uh, nostril holes over here. Going to be able to smell those delicious cupcakes. And then, of course, a nice big smile on there. Looking good. Okay, so now this is where you can kind of start customizing your unicorn. You can do curly hair or long flowing hair, maybe spiky hair, uh, any kind of hair you'd like. Uh, I feel like mine could be a punk unicorn, so I'm going to give her a mohawk. Uh, so, again, you can do a different one if you'd like. I'm just going to kind of add a fun little mohawk here, kind of flowing down, a little mullet in the back, looking good. You can add some hairlines if you'd like. You could add some sparkles in there, whatever you'd like. A little bit of glitter coming off. Again, you can just kind of customize as you'd like with your hair. All sorts of glitter fun going on. All right, so now we just have a really gorgeous horse. What we want to do is add that special unicorn element, the horn. You can just kind of go right up off the top there and then come back down. Now yours might be a longer one. Uh, maybe the hair isn't kind of covering it as much as mine, but that's kind of where, uh, with my mohawk, that's kind of where it's coming out of. Again, you could add some, some rays coming off of it, maybe some rainbows, whatever you'd like. This is your unicorn. Now what we're going to do, this is kind of where we're going to start customizing it. We're going to add some arms coming off of here and off of here. And we're going to add some elements into it as we go. Alright? So, coming off here first, kind of going up towards their mouth. Like that. You can add the little hoof on there. Kind of like that. Now the other arm I'm going to have coming out just underneath the hair. Kind of coming off to the side like that. Alright, again you can kind of Add on the little hoof part there. If you have colors, you can color in the hoofs, whatever color you'd like. Now you can add that uh, little tail, maybe flowing behind. Again, whatever kind you'd like. Just kind of doing a little flowy tail there. And then the legs. Now your unicorn could be jumping or running or dancing or riding on a skateboard, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, I'm going to have your mind just kind of sort of galloping through the meadow here. One leg kind of kicking back and one leg kind of coming forward like that. Again, add those little hoof marks on there. Okay. Now again, you could add whatever. Uh, maybe your unicorn is at a skate park. Mine's just kind of running through a meadow. So I'm going to add some little grass here, maybe a flower. Again, you can kind of add whatever. Maybe yours is running through a robot factory or something fun like that. So whatever imagination you want to add sort of around, uh, you can do that. Now, uh, it would be fun. You could kind of add whatever maybe your unicorn's activity for the day is over here. Whatever maybe your favorite activity to do, a favorite sport. Uh, I'm, mine's off to play basketball at the park that she's running through. So I'm just going to draw a basketball here my favorite sport. So she's going to go play a game of basketball with her friends. Uh, and now over here, of course, she's got to have some energy for that long uh, day of unicorn fun parties. And so she's brought her favorite um, food, which is cupcakes, of course. So I'm going to draw a cupcake. If you have a different favorite food, maybe it's an ice cream or an apple, uh, whatever you'd like to add in there, you can add that. Maybe something silly as well. I'm just going to draw a simple little cupcake here. All right, some icing on the top. You could add some some uh, sprinkles on there if you'd like. That looks pretty delicious. All right, so she's got her cupcake, her basketball. Now yours may look very different than mine. Different hair, different activities, different food. Uh, but this is what kind of makes your fun uh, unicorn your very own. So there we are. You can again add some different elements. That's sort of up to you where you want to go from here. The best part would be you could add some colors. If you're feeling really inspired, maybe you could start writing your own story about your unicorn. So I would thank you for drawing along with me today. I hope you had a magic cool time. And be sure to read Unicorn Day by Diana Murray, illustrated by me, Luke Flowers. Bye everybody.